So one of my favorite releases to come out in the vintage collection within the last year is this uh, Bad Bash 4 pack, clone pack. And I managed to get this a little bit earlier compared to most other Americans. Uh, I got this back in January and I know within the last month is when it started shipping to the US. And I recall that <laughs> I missed the original pre-order so that's why I had to get it from a European seller on Amazon. Uh, if I recall correctly, it was only up for about 11 minutes and I originally had the pre-order page up the day it came out and I stepped away for a couple minutes thinking I could come back and go ahead and pre-order it, but by the time I came back it was already sold out. Um, Hasbro definitely needs to work on its pre-order windows instead of you have to hurry up and get on there during the day. And if I recall correctly, this wasn't even announced more than a couple hours before the pre-order window so it'd be nice if they fix that eventually but anyway we have it here now uh so we got four clones we have clone captain gray uh we all know this is clone captain hauser but it was a uh, misna misspelling on the package and they have it as clone captain ballast maybe that was its original name and it was changed last minute of course uh Probably the best Captain Rex to date we have, and then the Elite Squad Trooper. But let's take a look at this package first. Uh, we'll take a look at the main box that comes in. So we have, this is basically just one big vintage collection card. So we have the Bad Batch logo up there. Nice picture of the shuttle here. let you read that and of course we have all the other action figures advertised at the top here special action figure four pack and all the names here take a look at each individual card next and nice to see the debut or the return of the unpunched cards something we haven't seen since the original run and nice to have a few on hand good image of clone captain gray there not sure what legion he's a part of number 209 and I happen to have all eight of these now. Lando, Tebow, Emperor, and IG-11 will eventually get a review. Whenever I can find the time to do it. Of course, this is the debut of the Bad Batch logo in the Vintage Collection. Uh, we'll take a look at Ballast or Hauser next. Today I haven't really sat down and watched The Bad Batch, but I know enough about it. You can tell that's more of a concept art image of him. And same thing on the back. Figure 2 or 210. Take a look at Rex next. Suppose technically at this point he's not really a captain. Probably just Rex at this point. 208. Then the Elite Squad Trooper, which I know is not a clone. Hopefully it'd be nice if we can get a troop builder pack of this eventually. I do think this is a cool concept. 211. I believe this particular figure also shares the number, if I recall correctly, with the Mandalorian with the Spiders that recently came out. That's the Walmart exclusive. I think that's a 211 as well. Do not have that pack yet. Not sure if I'll get it. I think we have enough Mandalorians at this point. Uh, anyway, so we'll take a look at one at a time. 
take a look at Captain Gray first. So we see him for probably about a grand total of three minutes in the series. He has a couple lines. Appears he served under uh, Jedi Master Depa. Be nice if we can get a definitive figure of her in the vintage collection as well. Uh, there's not a whole lot to really say about these figures. They're just typical clones in the vintage collection mold. It's the same clone mold that we've seen for about 11 years now. And he just comes with the one weapon. Nothing really new about this. And you know, it's just the standard articulation. It's the ball jointed head and the shoulders and the elbows. And he has the ball jointed wrist as well. This one goes up and down. And this one, you know, goes side to side. Good torso there. It's got the hips, not the swivel thigh though. And the knees and the ankles as well. Pretty good fluid movement there. Nice green color scheme he has. Lines on the shoulders there. Oh, or on his bicep. Uh, so the helmet. Kind of a difficult helmet to get on and off. At least initially when I started it. Uh, playing it on and off. It's a very good head sculpt. Definitely one of the best clone heads we have to date. Hope they use this one going forward in the vintage collection. Face printing on this is very good. A lot of times you get blotchy uh, face printing, especially on the repacked vintage collection action figures. So since I'm not really sure exactly what Legion he belongs to, I decided I think he'll make a very good commander for the 442nd Siege Battalion. Same color scheme. And I haven't seen anybody up until now do a picture with this. So I think he'll definitely has a good place for these guys since we haven't officially had a commander come out for these two yet. So that's Captain Gray. Next we'll take a look at Hauser or Ballast. Um, pretty much the same as Captain Gray, same mold and everything. Uh, he has more of a turquoise look to him. And I'm not sure why they decided to flip the pauldron the other way. I'm not sure if that's been explained in any lore yet or not. Uh, nice to see that he has a distinguishedly painted communicator there. And you can tell he's got some battle damage on him. And like Captain Gray, his helmet can come off a little snugly. Very loose pauldron as well. Very good head sculpt on him. Has that high and tight look. Very slick. And of course he just comes with the one weapon as well. So that's Captain Hauser there. Uh, perhaps his name was uh, changed last minute. Obviously it was. 
perhaps at one time he was supposed to be ballast and the next figure we're going to take a look at definitely it also had a change along the way uh clone captain rex it's definitely the best rex we had today it's very disappointing that the clone wars rex was just a re-release of the black series version i wish we got the phase one rex that was supposed to be released back in around 2011 and this particular figure utilizes some parts of it so hopefully we get that phase one rex eventually i think um Seems like Hasbro's ignored a lot of the Phase 1 clones in the last several years, and it's just been Phase 2. So we we'll, would we'll love to see a lot more Phase 1 clones eventually. Uh, so we know in the series, Rex doesn't really have the binos. I don't know why you would have the, the binos and the rangefinder together. Obviously, this is concept art. Uh, you can take this off. Can be kind of tricky. Really isn't a whole lot to show with it. Other than uh, he has his pauldron underneath. And all it has is just the uh, ammo pouch attached to it. It doesn't have the actual shoulder part. It's a good soft goods comma there. And of course, it's the same clone mold that we've always seen. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the blasters don't fit very snugly within the holsters there. And I just, Rex doesn't actually come with this rifle. I just gave it to him, give him a little more variety. Has his uh, kill marks on his helmet and on his arms there. And his head is just a uh, direct repaint of Clone Captain Gray, just with the blonde hair. Not sure if originally Rex was supposed to grow his hair out a little bit. As we know in the show, he has his uh, same style that he always has. But it's still a good looking head sculpt. Face printing is great on this. And he has his hood there doesn't really fit on very well on the head and I don't think it's really necessary it's usually about the best you can do I do have the 6 inch version as well. Between the two, I th think this one is the better one. So there's Rex. And then the last figure, the Elite Squad Trooper. Which, as I said earlier, we know is not a clone. And it's just a repaint of the clone, again, the same clone we've been seeing in the Vintage Collection. Uh, he doesn't have the removable helmet though, but there is a clone head cast in all black underneath. And there's a little bit of glue that just happens to be on top of the head there, keep the helmet in place. Uh, you might be able to remove it and maybe heat it up a little bit or sometimes I've seen some people where they get samples where the glue is not really attached to the helmet anyway so it comes off and it has a very unique clone head underneath you can get on some of the action figure forums like Jedi Temple Archives and see photos of it and 
it's more of an angry clone face and it'd be nice to see that debut at some point as an official clone i think it's a very good head sculpt looks good so in the case of the elite squad trooper he comes with this rifle instead and that pistol same weapons we've always seen uh, that green visor can sometimes be deceiving at first uh <laughs> when i had him on my shelf i it looks like it was just a totally black visor and i thought to myself that oh maybe they forgot to paint it green but depending on how you hold it in the light it can either look green or it can look black Like I said, it'd be nice if eventually we can get a troop builder of this. Maybe uh, a four pack where they all have removable helmets and we can get some of the ones that we, I know we're seeing in the series. And I do have an extra of this one as well. Two elite squad troopers. So yeah, uh, very basic clone pack, not really a whole lot to tell about it, but as I said, it's always nice to get more clones, and I know a lot of people love to collect clones, I especially do, can't get enough of them, and especially four very unique ones, it's nice to get a much better Rex compared to the last one that was released, uh, Clone Captain Grey and Hauser are very unique as well, uh, and like I said, he goes well with the 442nd Siege Battalion and the Elite Squad Trooper I see that as kind of like the prerequisite to the Death Trooper who knows if that will be the case or not find out in Season 2 eventually if that ends up being the case but anyways I would definitely recommend the pack especially if you're into clones uh, it is a little costly I think it you retails around 64 uh, it is in and out of stock as of the time of this video on amazon it should be for any country at this point um but yeah it's definitely a good thing to add to your collection and i hope you found this review informative stay tuned for more in the future i also hope to do another room tour at some point soon and keep an eye out for more videos Anyways, thank you for watching and stay tuned.